Hello, everybody. Welcome back. So today we are continuing the agent saga. In the previous video, we uh, installed agent 12.12 uh, .12 on the uh, on the target server. And today we are going to do something different. We are going to upgrade this, the agent uh, from OBM itself. So we're going to uh, update all of the packages instead of manually, we are going to do it uh, from OBM, right? So to do so, what I have here is the OBM server and I have the agent bits here in the root folder and I'm going to mount it first uh, using our trusty mount, com uh, mount command. I'll create a directory for the mounting and then I'll mount this uh, agent ISO file to this folder. And then I'll go to scripts directory in OVM. So it's under uh, OPT, HPBSM, OPR bin. And you know what? Uh, like always, let's make the party a little bit bigger over here. So it would be more convenient for everybody to, to see. All right, a little bit bigger. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm basically going to execute a command that says oh, OPR, OPR package manager, and then the username and password. For those of you that uh, are concerned with the password, it's an internal environment that cannot be accessed, so uh, there is no damage in exposing this password. So what it does, it basically it authenticates uh, to OBM and then uploads packages based on the agent XML which it would find on the mounted image. So in this folder, in packages, uh, there are multiple uh, folders for various operating systems, and they include this uh, XML that describes the contents of the package, so OBM would know how to interpret them and upload them to, uh, to itself uh, as we expect it to. Okay, so I'm hitting Enter. And there it goes. So uh, we did not specify what kind of an operating system we would like it to be. So it would just go and uh, upload all of the variations, but realistically, we're going to up update just a Linux server. Okay, so there it goes. Slowly but surely, it will uh, import everything. So let's just jump into the next section. Okay, it is done. So. Next thing to do would be actually uh, going and, like every good magician, magician does it, just going to uh, the target server and showing you that the version right now is 12.12. So then when the magic will happen, we will see that the version has changed. So now I'll go to OBM, I'll go to administration, and I'll go to monitored nodes. And what I'm showing right now, it's useful for upgrading up to 200 agents at a time. You can do more, but it's not recommended because you still need to have some way of uh, controlling the process and not just trying to figure out how all your data center is behaving when you do this mass upgrade. So we're going to do just one server, but you can do up to 200 at once. Just control A or shift select or something and just sort of click the button. All right, so here we are going to press this agent upgrade. And we're going to say upgrade to the latest version. All right, one second. So our OBM here is done. Operation completed successfully. And let's tell it to upgrade to the latest version. So we say update. And it says our oh, deployment job has been created. Fantastic. So let's look from the agent side how it looks like. Right. So we'll go to the AOS server and we'll enable our HTOP. And now we'll see that uh, a lot of uh, slash OPT OV processes are working right now really hard. And uh, the CPU is ramping up a little bit. So to me, it indicates that uh, OVC, well, the agent update is working. One of the things that appeared here was OVC kill, which basically stops the current agent version. And here we are just waiting for it to update. So I guess it will take about uh, two or three minutes. So let's skip to that part. 
Okay, and I think it is done. I don't see any installation tasks anymore. The resource consumption went back to normal. So we'll go to our OBM and let's see if it updated the version. And there it is, 12.15. So this is how you can upgrade lots of agents in your data center. So definitely a very, very easy job to do. Of course, it's based on the fact that uh, you already have agents installed. If it's completely new nodes with no agents on them, then it's, uh, it is very different and it requires and it's a completely different approach. But uh, I think we uh, covered that one in an operations orchestration demo or a, a video that I created about a year ago or so. So it's definitely worth a try looking there. All right, I'll see you in the next one.